Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for joining us. We're back into our Bible study for the week, uh, coming from Psalm 7. I really love going through the Psalms with you. This Psalm today, I promise you, I'm not going to get an exhaustive coverage of, but I'm going to point out some highlights. Because in this Psalm, David is appealing to the protection of God. How many need the protection of God? Every one of us, right? And isn't it good to know <clears throat> that every avenue of life that we travel, God's protection is always watching over us. That's one of the things David knew about. And so he writes this uh, to be sung, to be remembered, to really it's kind of a testimonial psalm, if you will. It's like this is what we've discovered about God. So in Psalm 7 verse 1, he begins, I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion. Boy, that's really graphic, isn't it? Tear me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done wrong or I'm guilty of injustice, if I have to, uh, betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honor into the dust. There's a lot of honesty there. Verse 6. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the noble nations before you. <clears throat> Rule over them from on high. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and the heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked it every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend the string of his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig deep uh, pit uh, dig, dig a deep pit to trap others, then fall into it to themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own head. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praise to his praise to the name of the Lord most high. Again, it's typical of David's psalm writing. He starts with uh, this appeal for help. So he does need the protection of the Lord. And what I love about this is he's very honest with God as he asks for help, as he asks for protection. If you notice there, he's asking for protection. He's asking for the Lord to intervene, but he's also saying, God, if I've done wrong, you hold me accountable. Boy, now that, that's, that's really interesting because a lot of times, guys, let's be honest. We come before God when we need help, but are some of the things we're dealing with because of things we need to repent from? I mean, David says it right there in verse 3. If I've done any wrong, if I've, if I've uh, treated my, enemy, my friends wrong, if I've betrayed them, if there's injustice in my life, all that has happened here, Lord, I want to be honest before you. You know, guys, in asking for God's protection, what that does, it makes us understand how important it is for, is to, important it is for us to come to God with a clean slate, making sure there's nothing between us and God or between us and other people. Okay, so as David makes this appeal, he's also saying, Lord, I want to check my spirit first. Before I ask you uh, for help from my enemies who's mistreating me, I want to make sure that I'm open and honest before you. I thought that was a really interesting passage. In verse 6, he begins a whole different thought because now he begins to interject with a prayer. And it begins with this, Arise, O Lord, in anger. Boy, now he's starting to lay his case out before God. Look what my enemy has done. Lord, it's like we want you to wake up. We want you to come to our rescue. Look at all of these who have done evil against me. And I want you to act on my behalf. So when he makes that appeal to God in verse 10, he says, God is my shield, my protector, all right? He's the one who's going to save those whose hearts are true and righteous. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person doesn't repent, there's, a, there's consequences. But then he gets to the last verse and he says, But I will thank the Lord because he is just, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. So you see, David began to realize that there was a sh God in his protection acts like a shield for us. Now, when I think of a shield, it reminds me of the whole armor of God that Paul talks about in Galatians or, or Ephesians. Remember that? He says that we are to take up the shield 
of faith. You see, whenever you hear a shield, you know a shield is for what? It's to hit, catch arrows that's being shot at you. And so that's what God does for us. He gives us a faith and a confidence in Him that when we're open and honest with Him, we can quench those fiery darts of the enemy or others that they're shooting at us. So that's why faith is so important. That's why it's so important to have faith in God because we're open and honest with God. You see, God wants to help you really more than you know how to ask Him. He loves us and He cares for us every single day. And so as David makes this appeal to the Lord, he says, God, this is the problem I have. Lord, this is the need I have in my life. He knows that God is going to be faithful and true. And he begins the psalm with a request and he ends the psalm with thanks. Do you notice that? Verse 1, he asks for God's protection. He deals with his heart. He deals with what's going on in his situation. But he ends with saying, thank you, Lord. You know what, folks? Before we ask God for anything else, many times we just need to thank him for what he's already done. Let's do that. I want to pray with you. Father, we do thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for the shield of faith that we have. We thank you, Lord, for your word that you give us. That's a lamp to our feet, a light unto our path. Lord, the word of God, it reproves and it rebukes us. Lord, it brings correction into our lives. And it brings benefit. It brings joy because we see what you're going to do for us when we ask by faith. And so, Father, I pray, Lord, for anyone who's listening to our time of study now, Lord, that you would just encourage them and bless them. Father, I pray that they would be open and honest before you, and they would begin to rejoice and thank you for all the many blessings that you've given us. And, Lord, we especially thank you for your protection and your oversight in our lives. We love you. We praise you now, Lord, and we pray that our lives would be an open book for others to see your glory working through our life. For we ask all this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you get a chance, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment in the comment section there. Share this video because we want it to be a blessing to you and others. Have a great day.